All right, so I'm gonna demo some stretches that are very effective for your golfer's elbow and your tennis elbow. We discussed how golfer's elbow are all the flexor muscles and attachment here. Tennis elbow is all the extensor muscles attaches uh, to this side and go into your handler. So flexion of the hand and wrist are these movements, so flexion of the hand and the wrist. Extension is the opposite, arm or wrist being back, coming backwards and opening up the fingers. So if you want to stretch these muscles, so say for example, you want to stretch all the flexors and all the tendons that go in here, you have to hold your hand in a neutral position, take it all the way back, find the end range, and at the very end, what you're going to do is you're going to add a little bit of stretch into it. And you're going to hold that for about 10, 15 seconds. And once it feels a little bit of a release through here, after 10, 15 seconds, you can also add a little bit more pressure to get a little bit more stretch into that flexor uh, muscle and tendon group. And then add another 10, 15 seconds of hold. And then after that, add a little bit more stretch to really feel these muscles and the ten tendons getting stretched. Now, opposite side, which is your extensor muscles, same thing. You stretch your arm, elbow straight, bend the wrist down as far as you can, and then add a little bit of resistance and stretch into it, hold for another 10 to 15 seconds. Once you feel that release, after that, you wanna add a little bit more stretch. And with these, you wanna be gentle. You don't wanna be forcefully stretching muscles. Muscles and tendons do not like to be stretched too quickly or too fast or too forcefully. So just add a little bit as long as you feel a bit of tension and pressure being built. That's all you need. So very two very good stretches for the flexors and the extensors.